Hey guys, how's your day been? Or, you know, past three weeks since it's been that long since I've uploaded a video. Um, I guess this is usually the part where I would say like, hey, this is what I'm drawing right now. But um, I'm actually recording this, this audio before I finish the drawing. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna draw. I, I may not draw anything, but I, I probably will. Um, Cause that's just the way we do things on this channel pretty much. Um, but I just like, <sighs> um, I had kind of like a panic attack today and I just, I feel like I just need to talk about, I just feel like there's things I need to talk about that maybe just like putting them out there into the world will make me feel, I don't know if it, if it make me feel better is the word for it, but at least like help me to accept that there are things out there in this world that, I'm, that are going to be really difficult to make change for, I don't know, it's just, I just feel like I need to talk because I haven't talked in a long time. It's been a really long time since I've just, like, talked to you guys, um, and I'm really sorry for that. I'm just- a lot of it has been depression, a lot of it has been, um, just being busy, being really busy with Shipwrecked, which has been going really great, actually. Um, so you guys should check that out. I always have that- that little end card, outro card thingy, and there's always a link to a Shipwrecked video in there. You should totally check it out sometime, because honestly, me and Pedro are working really hard at it, especially Pedro. He does all the editing for that, and he's just really fantastic, and it's just- it's just going really good, all right. Um, so if you're if you if you like me and you like and you would like me to upload more often, you should totally check out Shipwrecked. Maybe you'll like it. But um, but yeah. Uh, like I said, I just need to talk. Um, I like I said, I had kind of like a panic attack kind of thing. I um, I don't know. I just I guess I'll just dive right in. I don't know how. To, there's no like real intro to this. Like okay, so I was walking around one day and no, I just. I'm just really scared. I'm so scared, guys. Um, there's, there's like, I don't know, I'm just, I just feel, I've been feeling really overwhelmed lately. Um, and a lot of it, a lot of it has to do with, um, I guess what, some of the points where I've been feeling the best with my depression is when I actively avoided things that would make me upset. Which, you know, is a logical thing to do when you have, like, some kind of emotional disorder, a mental disorder like that, you you avoid- you try to avoid things that will set you off, right? You know, that's why there's trigger warnings on things and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so the, some of the best times that I felt is when I, you know, avoid the news and when I avoid, like, like certain Tumblr posts and things like that. Um, but lately- Lately I haven't been doing that and a lot of it is because I feel like I can't. I feel like I really- can't allow myself to be blind to the things that are happening in this day and age and it's both been a good thing and a bad thing it's been a good thing as far as like just making sure that i know what's going on and making sure that i know you know what it is that what it is that's important what it is that i want to stand up for and the things that maybe i don't believe in as much it's been important in me like growing as a person it's been important in me understanding other people but it's been really bad for my mental health it's been really really bad for my mental health um a lot of it being like i guess what well, some of the biggest things that are freaking me out on a daily basis like things that i think about on a daily basis are basically like like, why... Why is it that we're still fighting, you know? Why is it that we're still fighting amongst each other as human beings? You know, especially in America, but kind of all over the world. Why are we still fighting amongst each other as, you know, as sentient creatures of the same species over which one is better because of gender or because of sex or sexual orientation or because of race like the color of your skin like like cats don't get upset with each other because they have different colored fur you know like they don't bother with that and it's like really it just really freaks me out that human beings have this mentality that for some reason like one person who has really fair skin and light hair and sky blue eyes and has a penis is better than, you know, than than a dark-skinned, curly-haired person who just happens to have a vagina. Like, that's not... That's not... 
I just... It's just something that I've been thinking about a lot lately, and it's not- and, like, nothing I'm saying in this video is gonna be groundbreaking. I'm gonna tell you right now, like, nothing in this video is gonna be like, Oh, wow, I never thought about it that way. If you've never thought about things this way, then I don't know what's wrong with you, right? Just- I just- Like, I'm- I'm really on- I'm really gonna be brutally honest when I say if you've never thought about why racism is stupid, then I don't- I don't know if I really want to know you, you know? It's just one of those things, it's just- Like, if you- if you have genuine questions, go ahead and ask me or ask other people. I may not be the best person to talk about it to, but- but, like, racism, sexism, things like that have been really just, really, like, I don't know, it's just like this constant thing in the back of my mind that's just like, like, hey, you know, like, I know, you like, you, things may seem kind of okay for you right now, but you know that if you, you know, if you weren't in a dedicated relationship, you'd be out there, you know, like, possibly fighting for your life amongst, like, these guys who would just try to harm you, you know, and like, like, oh yeah, don't you remember that, you know, you had that really bad thing happen to you? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Like, oh yeah, haha, remember that one, that time that one guy tried to rob you? Ha, <laughs> that was great, right? You know, like, just, like, the, like, my mind has just been, just been full of all these, like, really horrible things. It just keeps reminding me, reminding me, reminding me, reminding me that, like, that life is not, like, what I think it is or what I think it should be, I guess. And I can be really idealistic, I know I can be that. I know that I have this picture in my head of how beautiful the world could be and how amazing everything could be. But then I get broken out of that and I have to look around and see what reality really is like, you know? And I feel like... I feel like it would be a lot better if I was just stupid, you know? Like, I feel like it, I would be so much happier if I was just freaking stupid and I just didn't realize how like horrible everything is and I just I feel like I would be so much happier if like if I had just decided you know that that I would just embrace like only the white side of my family and not the black side from my father you know I feel like I would be so much happier if I just you know pretended that everything was okay and just you know like you know, if I, if I, I feel like everything would be so much better if I just believed in God and believed that there was somebody out there watching us and trying to make sure that everything was going to be okay and that there was some kind of plan for our lives, you know? I feel like I would be so much happier, but I just don't. I just can't, you know? I can't pretend that everything is okay. I can't deny a part of myself. I can't believe in something that has been taken so out of context and has taken so... And it has been used and abused to hurt other people. I can't believe in something that... I can't believe in something that just doesn't exist, you know? I can't believe that everything's gonna be fine when it's not. And... I've just been in a, like... I, I, it's been... I guess it's been a ticking time bomb in the back of my head where... Like, every day I just feel the burden worse and worse on my shoulders. And I'm just so scared, guys. I'm just so scared. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, I just feel like there's so many worse things out there, you know? I just feel like there's so many worse things out there that we could be worrying about and that we need to band together as people before we can handle them, you know? Like, I feel like, I feel like there's something really bad that we're just not, that we're just so blind to because we're, we just have, we have to fight each other over something so stupid. We have to fight each other over something so stupid, like being treated like a human being, even though I'm a girl. Like being treated like a human being, even though, you know, somebody happens to be black or Mexican or or Asian or whatever, you know, like... Like being treated like a human being, even though, you know, somebody is transgendered or... Or gay or... or pansexual or whatever it's just i feel like there's so many worse things out there you know and it scares me every time i know people throw it around sometimes like sometimes you know there'll be like that kind of like kind of serious but kind of funny tumblr post where it's like you know they'll say something that's like I don't know, just like, the, like sometimes people will just throw that thing around where they're just like, you know, the bees are dying at an alarming rate and, and scientists don't know why, you know, and that freaks me out every time. I don't, like, I know sometimes people say it to try to, 
I don't know, make light of it to try to make themselves feel better about it. But every time it just freaks me out. It scares me because I know something bad is happening. And I don't know what I can do about it. And I feel like a lot of us... I feel like a lot of us could do something, but we're too busy being depressed or we're too busy suffering from anxiety or bipolar. We're too busy, you know, fighting amongst each other. We're too busy, like, fighting amongst... Fighting ourselves to... to to not, like, literally take our own lives, and I'm just scared, dude. I'm just so scared, dude. I don't know. I know this is a lot... I talk about a lot of serious stuff on the channel, I know I do, and I, I, on, on, especially on the old channel, and I know this is probably the first time you've really heard me, like, like this, I guess. But I feel like I just need to talk about it. I just need to talk about... It. I don't know, this is just... I don't know if anybody else is like this, I, I just... I should have put like a trigger warning or something at the beginning, like, Hey guys, you know, if things freak you out, you probably shouldn't listen. Maybe I'll just edit something in, or whatever, or put something in the description, I don't know. Um... I don't know, this is the kind of stuff that goes through my head, like, on a daily basis, and... And it's getting really hard to keep it together, you know? And it's been really hard to think about recording stuff, and maybe that's why I want to talk about it, because I feel like I have to talk about it before I can move on to talking about other topics and stuff. I need to I need to say this first before I can start feeling comfortable drawing again. I need to talk about this first before I can start... I don't know, just like, trying to live again, trying to get back to normal again. I'm, I'm just so scared. And like, I just want- I just want everything to be okay, I just- Something that's really important to me and my psyche, I guess, is like, peace and balance. Like, for me to feel okay drawing something, I need to be relaxed. If I'm not relaxed, it's really, really hard for me to get into a drawing mood. There's some people like- like Pedro, he really needs to be like, excited about something before he gets into it. Like, he needs to be all jazzed up, he listens to like, like exciting, upbeat music. For me, I need to listen to something relaxing. I listen to like chill step, or I'll listen to jazz, or I'll listen to, um, I don't know, there's like, like really like downbeat kind of music. I'll listen to something really calm, and, um, and that helps me. And I think that's why I, that's why I haven't been able to do much lately, because I've been so anxious. I've been so unbalanced. My, I've been really thrown off my center, and I don't know if that means that I just need to, like, avoid social media for a while, or, or what, but, like, I feel like I can't. I feel like I can't, like, I don't know. I feel like I can't, like, bury my head in the sand, but at the same time, I need to take care of myself, and I don't really know what to do. I really don't know what to do, and I just... I don't know. I guess maybe... I don't know if there's like a lesson to this story. I don't know if there's like a like some some kind of like end word to say about all of this other than like hey, if you have these thoughts and feelings and concerns or if you suffer from I don't know if I would say that I suffer from anxiety. Maybe. I don't I don't know. I've never been diagnosed, so I'm not just going to say like, "Oh yeah, I have anxiety" without actually having it confirmed. One thing I do have confirmed is that I suffer from depression. I don't know about anxiety. I haven't really I haven't- it's not something that's actually been, like, confirmed for me or anything. I don't know, but, um... But, you know, if you worry like this, then I guess, you know, take solace in the fact that you're not alone. Take solace in the fact that... I don't know, that there's other people out there that are just as scared as you are. And that sometimes, sometimes I seem like I have it all together, and a lot of people... <sighs> More times than I would have expected to be, people have told me that they look up to me. And I don't... really understand it entirely. You know, like, I try my best to be a good person. I try my best to, to say what's on my mind, and to say... Or to stand up for what I believe in and stuff, but it's still it can still be shocking to hear like oh yeah you like you're like you're my role model or you're like you're my hero or you're like I like I really believe in what you're doing you know thanks 
Um, I don't know, just... <sighs> Shit, I don't remember where I was going with that, to be honest. <laughs> I just completely, like, went off on a tangent and just completely lost what I was trying to say. Um... I, uh, I kind of lost my train of thought there. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I'm just really... I don't know what to do, I guess. And I, I feel like a lot of people... F I feel like a lot of people feel like I have it all together sometimes. Like, other, other artists... Some other artists actually, you know, like my stuff and actually look up to me and it's... It's weird. It's really weird because I don't feel like I'm there yet, you know? Like where people should be trying to, I don't know, to be where I'm at or anything. I don't know, it's it's weird. But yeah, like pe some people just... <sighs> people seem to be... Some people seem to be kind of shocked to know that I don't, like... I don't know, just like don't, don't have it together. I don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going. Um, so I guess if you feel like that out there, you know, if you're listening out there, you're not the only one, you know, if you, if you feel like you don't know what's, where your life is headed or, or what you're supposed to do or, or how you're going to help make change in this world, you're not the only one. If you're scared, you're not the only one. I just wish I could reach out and hug you because I need a hug too.